Hey, Corinication, welcome to day 80. Eight zero. Andrew or just had four zero plus four zero. Or... Don't try math. Don't try math. Andrew just <laughs> had a great idea for episode 100. He wants to put glue this in his beard and then have me throw confetti. This was not at all my idea, and I do not condone this behavior. I, I, I don't know what we're going to do for episode 100, but we would love suggestions. your ideas. Suggestions. Yeah. Send us an email. If they involve facts, bullying me, I do not. Signal. No, I want to do something to celebrate and confetti. And then confetti I is fine. saw the beard and I, don't I just put beard, two though. and two together. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You could probably come up oh, with something. Oh, get it? Glue puts two. And... He's a dad. It's an obligation for him to make dad jokes. Yes. Hey, today, day 80 is going to be a little bit different. We've been seeing a lot of stuff in the news and. There's, there's rioting going on, um, there's a lot of racial tension, there's people that are angry, and there's people that are scared. There's just a lot, a lot of going on. Going and so, yeah. Andrew and I were talking about it, and we thought, um, well, what does the Bible say? And how can we lean into that at a time where there's just a lot of division going on? And so we asked, well, what did Jesus say? And he said, the, there's two things that are most important. First thing is to love God. Are you getting a text? Something no, more important? I'm, I'm pulling up my Bible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, yes. and strength. That's the most important thing. And so in all things, am I loving the Lord? Is that what's revealing in my actions and my heart and my words and everything? And then the second thing, do I love my neighbor as myself? Man, that's a good one. Uh, it's Jesus. Yeah. So, yeah, it's good. It's really good. Uh, what did you say about Jesus yesterday at church? He was a crazy man. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, technically two days ago. Today's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Yeah. It's Monday. Um, so love God, love others. And others means everybody. There's people that are different than you. Um, we're all made in God's image, but some people speak a different language than yeah. I speak. Some people look different than I look. Some people are tall and bald and I need to love them. I need to love everybody. Even if I'm not comfortable, even if I don't understand, I always need to be loving God and loving others. Yeah. You so know what's cool about that? Is that like, scripture says that all of the laws that were handed down, all of them are based on those two things. Yep. If we could just love God and love our neighbor, that, I mean, that's it. That's it's huge. Really, that, it it really, really is huge. Everything is built on those two things. Now, do you think when Jesus said it, he did one of these, even Boom, though there were microphones, but he knew that maybe there was would a, understand the future. Like Maybe there was a guy named Mike, and he would just drop him. He dropped Mike? Yeah. I don't think so. Probably not. Too many dad jokes for one episode. That probably wouldn't oh, love it, Mike. No. Um, so this is important. We need to love God. We need to love yes. others. We talked about this in our staff meeting as a church, and there was a scripture that Melissa Bradley shared that we absolutely loved. Yeah. So, Andrew, can you share that scripture? It is Micah 6 8, and of course, this is from Nerve. Oh, of course. So, let me read that to you. <laughs> That's the New International Reader's Version. That's right. For those who have never asked. <laughs> it is the Lord has shown you what is good, He has told you what He requires of you. You must act with justice, you must love to show mercy, and you must be humble as you live in the sight of your God. Man, that's huge. What does God require of me? What does God want of me? It's such a good question to be asking when there's so many different questions being asked and opinions being thrown out. And so can you read, what, is, what does the Lord require of me? What does he ask of me? Uh, he, he says we must ask, act with justice. Act with justice. Like stand up for what is right. Do what is right. Okay, that's big. I like that. Do what is right. Show mercy. Be, be forgiving. I mean, when... You know, scripture says to uh, make allowances for each other's faults. And that's, that's not always easy. No, that's not. When somebody wrongs you, you know, our, our first thing we want to do is to lash back out at them. But that's not mercy. Mercy is not giving punishment that they deserve. That's hard. It is even very, in our very, own homes. Very hard. But especially with strangers. So justice, mercy. And to be humble as you live in the sight of God. I love that to be humble in that whole process. There's another scripture, we've been talking about it in 4, 5, 6 on Wednesday nights. It's a scripture found in 1 Corinthians 13, 2. I read it on a post-it note. Andrew, it says, suppose I have the gift of prophecy. You know what pro is prophecy, Corey? You don't know what prophecy is? What is it? Let's test him. Prophecy. Is it A, um, B, 
being able to speak all languages? No. Is, well, I didn't, I can give an option. Oh, sorry. Is it B, A, an understanding of maybe God's will or um, things of God that aren't necessarily from you? Okay. Or is it C, um, knowing the best pizza roll recipe in Ooh. the world? Mm. Well, God would know that. So it wouldn't be just that. Okay. So I think it would be B. Okay. So suppose I have the gift of prophecy if I can speak yes. on things of God. Suppose I understand all the secret things of God and know everything about him. Ooh. Mm. That's a that's huge. That is very big. Like he that's knows like... all the digits of pi. <laughs> 3.14159265385 I'm Back lost after it. the four. <laughs> uh, man, so suppose I have these gifts of prophecy. Suppose I know all the secrets of God and know everything. About everything. Him. And suppose I have enough faith to move mountains. Like, like a Jedi master, like moving mountains. I don't think that's what it's talking about. It, it might possibly. It possibly. I mean, obviously, we can't limit the power of God. Yeah. But I. I don't know. I like to think of mountains as like the kind of stuff we're dealing with now. Like, it is a mountain. Social injustice is that's that's huge. That's a mountain. I mean, that's that covers everyone in the world. So suppose so I can do all of these. Things. Yes. And then it says, if I don't have love, I'm nothing at all. Mm. So suppose I can speak on behalf of God. Suppose I understand all of His wisdom and his understanding and I know everything. Suppose I can move mountains, but I don't have love? Nothing, it's pointless. And so that's a huge verse for us. And it reminds me of one of our big three. As a church, we say, love does. Love is an action. Love is something that we need to do intentionally. We need to get out of our comfort zones. We need to, especially now at this time, make it a point to love one another. That love does. And so, Andrew, as we're wrapping up today, uh, give me an idea. If you, let's say, Liam and Levi, your boys, okay. they're about this tall, yep. um, what could they do? If love does, how can they show love does to a neighbor down the road um, who looks different than them? Maybe even someone they don't even know, but they want to show love. This is a challenge for you also. Okay. Even the adults listening at home, even me. So, my boys, they love to play. Okay. Baseball, they like playing in the yard. Basketball, mm -hmm. uh, they like playing in the creek. But like, what if you and what if they invited somebody that's different from them to come play with them? Okay. Or instead of making it about what you want to do, what if you're like, hey, uh, we live in the same neighborhood. We've never really played with each other before. Uh, what do you like to do? What what's something that we could do together. Oh, like because they might not like baseball. Yeah, they might not like baseball. Uh, and your kids love baseball. They do. But they can sh humbly I yeah. like that, uh, put others first. Yeah. They can show love. Um, uh, what about the idea of s'mores? Do you think that would work? S'more of what? Marshmallow, chocolate, graham, uh, s'more. I'll, s'mores. You know it's s'more, right? I know it's okay. s'more. Um, I think that that's an easy way to invite someone over to be like, hey, we're having a fire and we're going to have some s'mores. Oh, can I do a s'more hack real quick? Can we tried some more the other day. We had a campfire at the house. We tried it with the Reese's cups. It was pretty good. It didn't beat the the classic s'mores, oh, no, but I it's, think you need it. it's worth the it's shot. Pretty you good. should it's do pretty it. Good. Um, let's see. I'm thinking about your house. You got a trampoline. Yeah, we got a trampoline. Uh, you can invite some people to come jump on your trampoline. You got the boys have bikes. Yes. You go ride bikes with Great people. Great neighborhood to ride bikes in. Um, then there's things like at night. Um, we'll, we'll do movie nights, game nights. Inviting people into those things is huge. Lightning bugs are out right now. You can go catch lightning bugs together. That'd be cool. Do you do it humanely or do you kill yeah. a bunch of lightning no, bugs every night? We put them in a jar, let them light it up for a minute, and then release them. Okay. Um, let's see. I know you also like fishing. Oh. Um, but no, uh, there's some people that don't like fishing. They no. don't like baseball. They don't like s'mores. There's people out there that don't like s'mores. Some people don't like chocolate. But there's also some people, Andrew, that are uh, stuck at home. Yeah. And they might not feel comfortable going out, or maybe they they just can't go out. Um, your boys, I FaceTimed with them before, and that was crazy, that but was. it was fun. And so maybe you jump on FaceTime with a neighbor or a friend or yeah. grandma. I don't know. But love does. And so There's today, tons of ways to love. don't let today go by without putting love into action by showing intentional love, 
Because, man, you can move a mountain, you could prophesy, you could do all kinds of things, but without love, it's pointless. Hey, so, another way they could share this video because we talk about the love and loving others. I like it. And so, I mean, what better way to... But let's see, most of them are your kids. Where are they going to share it? They can uh, send a text. They can tell mom and dad. Mom and dad, yeah. so no pressure, but your kids want you to share this one. Mostly because Andrew's in it. And no, he's the coolest. you can take me out. Okay. I'll edit this video to only be me talking. No, that would be weird. All right, Andrew, um, tomorrow we're going to continue with this faith talk. All month we're talking about faith, but with all the faith without love, it's pointless. Nope. And so let's show love to one another. Let's do it. See you tomorrow. We See haven't it. done that in a while. I know, it's fun though.